when it's finally all over for the narcissist. The narcissist reaches a point in their lives where they feel so powerless and helpless. It deflates their ego. It injures their dignity and pride. And in this moment, they feel very vulnerable. It's finally all over for the narcissist when you expose them. Or when you decide to leave. They spent all of that time manipulating and lying to you for nothing. When it's finally all over for the narcissist, they may not even seem angry. They will feel defeated. They will be full of fear and shame. They may isolate themselves. They may become suicidal. Or they will just disappear from your life. You may never see them again. They will then be more focused on using their addictions to numb their pain. Whether it's drugs, alcohol, shopping or video games, they will try to distract themselves from reality. They will feel like reality has betrayed them, so now they want nothing to do with it. They create their own world and try to pull other people into it. Other people that they can use to build themselves back up again. When the narcissist loses their grade A source of supply, they will feel like it's all over for them. Because they were emotionally or financially dependent on their source of supply. The source was providing them with something that was essential to their emotional or financial survival. But it's not because they love or care for you. They try to control you because they need you. They use you to meet their own needs. But even when they have found a grey day source of supply, they will always be looking for a replacement. Every supply has an expiry date. They understand that it isn't going to last forever. But if you try to leave them, they will become overt. They will get very angry. They will stalk and harass you. They will try to turn people against you. They will demand that you return. They may even give you fake apologies and fake epiphanies. They will resort to desperate measures. They will say or do whatever they think will get you to return. But rather than let it get to this point, the narcissist wants to keep everything under control. So they will manipulate you. They will lie to you. They will future fake. They will promise that things will get better. Whatever they think will keep you around. 
But even if you do leave, they're just going to twist it around. They're going to act like you abandoned them. And then they're going to use that to get supply from other people. But if you were their grade A source of supply, it will have an effect on them. They will become very depressed. They may use their addictions to numb their pain. But they will soon return. And they will be even more angrier and resentful than before. They may even be seeking revenge on you. When the narcissist loses anything that they deem to be important, that is when it's all over for them. Whether it's a person or a source of income, if it's important to a narcissist, they don't want to lose it. Losing it will greatly affect them. Because what they're actually losing is their control. Narcissists need control more than anything else. At this point, the narcissist will do anything to regain control over the situation. This is when they may even be forced to examine their own thoughts and feelings. They may make confessions. They may own up to certain things that they have done because they realize that there's no other option for them at this point. But even then, it's usually just another part of the, of the manipulation. They're just doing that to gain your support so that you can revive them. But once their strength has been restored, in most situations they will return to their usual self. They will even turn against you. Even if you were the one who gave them support. Even if you did everything in your power to help them. They're still going to turn their back on you. They will act like you never did anything for them. They will say that they could have done it without you. When the narcissist returns to their former state, they're going to feel like they're superior to you. Their pride and arrogance will come back. And then they're going to treat you like they're subordinate. They're going to treat you like you're beneath them. When it's finally all over for the narcissist, they will do things that they wouldn't normally do because now their image has been destroyed. Their ego has deflated. They have lost control over the situation. And while in the beginning it may seem like they are finally making some positive changes, Only time will tell. It cannot be known for sure until some time in the future. Because they may just be using it 
to restore themselves to their former condition. They may not be serious about change. When a narcissist is down, they will do anything to gain your support. No matter what they have done to you, when you see them at the lowest point of their lives, you may decide to help them. You may forget about everything they did to you. Because you're a good person. But the narcissist sees kindness as a weakness. They see it as something to exploit. They see it as something to take advantage of. Whether or not you decide to help them is your decision. But be very cautious. Because in many situations, the very person who helps them when they're down is often the one they go after first when they finally return to their former self. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coached inquiries. You can email me at coaching at Narc Survivor, Dakota, UK. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.